to Randy's friend. <clears throat> Sir, thank you for taking the time to meet with us today. Uh, as you know, these are tough times uh, here at Tabasco. Uh, people just aren't buying hot sauce the way they were before the bottom fell out. And our recent focus group results have been, well, not been, abs you know, <laughs> have not been auspicious, let's say. What does that mean? Uh, well, to summarize, the results ranged from... Uh, why don't I just throw food away and drink pepper spray to, oh God, why me? Why now? What have I done to deserve this? <sighs> yeah, not great. And <clears throat> well, sir, uh, we know that, that you're quite, um, well, reticent when it comes to changing the recipe? God damn right I'm reticent. I make the same Tabasco sauce my daddy made. And his daddy before him. And his daddy before him. All the way back to the day that Pavel goddamn Tabasco stepped off the boat from Czechoslovakia with a beat-up suitcase in one hand and a bottle of hot sauce in the other. Whew. I, uh, uh, I, I, I didn't realize Tabasco was a Czech name. Moravian! Oh, yeah, well, um, well, well, well taken, sir. Um, so, with that in mind, well, we got the thinking. If we're not going to change the sauce itself, we need to change the marketing around it. Okay, I'm listening. All right, well. Our focus demographic is 18 to 35 year olds because they have, you know, expendable income for things like hot sauce. Uh, so we thought to ourselves, what do millennials like? Well, how the shit would I know? I am nearly 104 years old. Uh, well, sir, they like irony. Yes, uh, much like how everything else from the 80s is being uh, rebooted, uh, the irony of Generation X is making a comeback as well. Yes, so we came up with this. No, no, that won't play in Peoria. I have a feel for these things. I am almost 104 years old. I uh, don't suppose you'd be interested in an older, more British version? <sighs> okay, well, that was just one, that was one idea. Uh, moving on. So we all recognize that this is a particularly fraught moment in American history. Uh, what we need now more than ever is unity. This country needs its most cherished corporate brands to step forward and say, pull up a chair, sit down at the dinner table I like to call freedom. Mm -hmm. So we thought what's something that can truly bring together Americans of all different stripes. You guessed it, the Vietnam War. We present to you Mouth Napalm, the world's first taught sauce in gel form. Outrageous, I'll have you know I served three tours of duty in Vietnam. Wait, wait, did, didn't Saigon fall in like 1975? Didn't you say you were 104 years old? Wouldn't you have 
been almost 60? Somebody had to show those hippies how to do it right. No, this won't do it all. Tabasco's too American a company to acknowledge our country's failures. Okay. Um, hmm. I'm going to guess you're not interested in hot sauce that can melt steel beams, then. Next suggestion. <sighs> well, <clears throat> okay. Uh, so, uh, this is a prototype. So, um, you know, the details are still being hashed out. Yeah, but uh, you know, it's a little out there. But, uh, you know, viral marketing campaigns are very big right now. So it, it's just so crazy that it might work. N Nana? Where'd you get a picture of my grandma? We broke into your house. You're fired. <laughs> 